Hey, this is, uh, this is Mr. Joe reporting live from Pitchfork Music Festival by the beautiful old oak tree in Union Park. The festival circuit actually is a great facilitator of band unity. Let me tell you about the festival circuit. If you could pan the camera, seeing as this is video, this is not very often. I don't have to do the describing. Look what you see here. You see happy people, calm down, a bunch of boots giving away free drinks, free sneakers, free cases, free food. This is like the most luxurious thing in the world for a band that cut their teeth sleeping on floors, brushing away cockroaches and spiders and punching each other in the stomach. You can imagine that being pampered offers like this a magnificent buffer. So the, the festival circuit, godsend, <laughs> godsend. Now, if you're a promoter and you booked fucked up, you did a great job and we love you for it. Don't even worry about it. What you did, also a godsend. I see. But less, with less cool stuff. Stage etiquette at festivals is big. Um, do not bleed on a senior member of the security staff. Do not uh, expose your testicles to someone under the age of 17. Uh, believe it or not, that's a risk. Uh, some, of the, some of the times when we play, the singer gets so excited that even the thought of, of something touching his, his skin sends him into some like irate spiral of, of psychological anguish so he has to strip completely naked but you know he has the foresight to cover up what is you know on a male generally speaking considered indecent for a public audience so he talks and won't demonstrate but uh, in certain parts of the United Kingdom even burying your rear end and especially hanging a rat is highly illegal so we got cut we got shot off stage uh, we got thrown off stage for indecent exposure, so d don't get naked. That was in England? Yeah, in England. Oh my god. And uh, don't climb, don't climb the stage, because it's a, don't climb the stage, you'll get in trouble. They pulled the plug. <laughs> but like the club circuit, and I hate to refer to it as the club circuit, um, but you know, when, you, when you're touring for like a year at a time, you start to see the same places over and over again, you start to see the same faces over again. Uh, and, it, and the club circuit is great, but it's a really refreshing change of place pace to be at a festival. Uh, it's also a lot of, it's pretty low pressure because you don't know anybody. Uh, there's like, you have no personal connection to the audience, which depending on who you talk to is, is kind of negative. But for us, it's just like a very freeing experience. We feel like, you know, there, there's nothing, there's no expectation of you. People are there to see a live band and you can be like the best live band at the festival if you want to. So it's really great. Speaking specifically to Pitchfork, um, Chicago has always been like a really fantastic city to us. The first, um, I would say, good show that we've ever played was in Chicago in about 2002 or 2003. We played a school classroom at DePaul University with about 100 people. And, and Chicago uh, has been our most consistently enthusiastic and appreciative audience since. So to play something like this, this large, uh, to Chicago's greater music community and you know see both our friends and someone who wasn't even born when our first band practice <laughs> took place is amazing so you're covered in blood well the singer's not the only one that bleeds but he's the only one who gets who bleeds on camera and I, and I, I wouldn't expect anybody to film this but uh, I cut my hand on the either the hi-hat or the rim of the drum and we don't stop very much when we play and drumming is a lot of this motion so all the blood goes directly to my hand and bleeds profusely, and uh, the fingers, like the forehead, bleed a lot and heal quickly, and but also get like really exacerbated really fast. So you can pan down here. Have you ever seen the movie Super Bad? This is, this is not from a cool house party. This is every time my knuckles hit my leg, the wound opened more and more, and so uh, an hour later, and I'm left with. Um, I see. I see. Looks like it's brisket sauce. We got an LP coming. Uh, we've got another year of the coming. It's going to be a, um, a busy fall. We've had this like really whirlwind, uh, stressful year on the road, and we finally get some time off. Uh, our singer, uh, Pink Eyes, is a new father, so he needs time at home. But when we're at home, we're going to have to be writing and recording the next album anyway. So uh, it's going to be a busy fall, and it's good. You know, the band is our job now, and. Uh, if you don't do anything at your job, you get a little restless. So uh, that's true. Um, you know, we're all really goal-oriented, you, you know, up-and-coming kind of yuppie go-getters. So for perfect. us, you gotta, you gotta keep, you gotta stay busy. Perfect. Uh, I, re I record when I'm at home. Uh, I record bands. I record like local. St anybody who's like local, doesn't have any money and just wants to do a demo, and it's just like I'll do it for free any t any day of the week. Uh, same with Ben. He's got a little recording studio. Uh, I play in another band called Career Suicide. Playing. 
my alter ego plays in another band called Mad Men. Uh, I fill in on drums for other bands. So you stay pretty busy. You stay pretty busy. All right. Like I say, it, it, you got to keep your feet moving a little bit. Like if you just stop, like you know, remember when you were in grade ten, how cool grade ten summer was, and you wake up at noon and play Metal Gear for three hours, and then drink like two liters of Pepsi and order a pizza with your friends, and then like press pause at that part in Under Siege where the naked lady jumps out of the cake and you, it's really not cool to do that when you're 27 so it's even if you're doing something seemingly childish it's like it's good to stay productive and it keeps your brain at least a little bit firm I see man any last words or anything uh no big alright okay 